four unit squares each have four fifths of their area shaded. And we see that here. If we had this whole thing shaded in, that would be a whole. But we only have four fifths of it shaded in. It's split up into five equal sections, and four fifths are shaded in. So this is a fifth, that's another fifth, that's another fifth, and that's another fifth. So we have four fifths shaded in. And we have these four fifths four times. So you could view this entire shaded area as four times four fifths. So all of this, all of this, we could view as four times four fifths. Well, what is this going to be? What is the total area that is shaded? And I encourage you to pause the video and try to think about it. Well, each of these bars, this right over there, that is a fifth. We've already seen that. If you took a hole and you split into five equal sections, one of those sections is going to be a fifth. That's a fifth right over there. So how many fifths are shaded in? Well, that's, let me do this in a color you can see. This is one, uh, I didn't switch the colors. This is one, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths, nine fifths, 10 fifths, 11 fifths, 12 fifths, 13 fifths, 14 fifths, 15 fifths, 16 fifths. We have 16 fifths shaded in. So what is the total area that is shaded? We can say 16, 16 fifths are shaded in, or 16 fifths square units, where a whole would be one square unit. But we, we have 16 fifths of the square units actually shaded in. Let's do another example. What is 2 thirds of 6? Well, we have six triangles here. And you can see that they're giving us a little hint. And they've divided it into thirds. They've divided it into three equal groups. Notice, that's one equal group. That is two equal groups. And that is three equal groups. So each third, so each of these thirds, this is 1 third of 6. We see that 1 third of 6 is 2. But we want 2 thirds of 6. So that's going to be two of these groups of one third. So that's one group of one third of six, and that's another third of six. One third of six. So if you took both of these together, you're going to have two thirds of six. And we see that that is one, two, three, four triangles. So that is four triangles. Let's do another one. And this one's a little bit more interesting. What is five eighths of four? And we have drawn here four holes. This is a hole, this is a hole, this is a hole, and that's a hole. And we see that they're split, each of the holes is split in two. So this is one half, this is another one half. This is one half, that's another one half. That's one half, that's another one half. That's one half, that's another one half. Now why do they do this? Why did they give us a hint? Well, we see that each half is actually one eighth of, all, of the entire four holes. What am I talking about? Well, if I were to take all of these four holes and if I were to divide them into each in, into eight equal sections, this is one of the eight equal sections right over here. It just happens to be half of a hole. So if I'm talking about, so one way to think about it is, if I say one eighth of four, that's going to be equal to one half. You see it here. We have four holes, and if I were to divide that into eight equal sections, that would mean taking each hole and dividing it into two. So half is one eighth of four. But that's not what they're asking us. They're asking what's five eighths of four. So this is one eighth. This is two. This is two eighths. This is three eighths. This is four eighths. This is five eighths. So what is that going to be all together? So I just want to remind you, because it's a little confusing. It could be a little confusing. I'm saying eighths and halves and all of that. Remember, one eighth of four is one half. So two, let me shade this in. And we'll do this with a different color. So one eighth of four, I want to do a lighter color. So one eighth of four is one half. Two eighths is two halves. Three eighths is three halves. Four eighths is four halves, and five eighths, five eighths is five halves. So I've just shaded, notice, I took the whole four, I divided into eight equal sections, and I've shaded in five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Now how many is that total? Well, each of those are a half. This is, let me just, in, 
This is one half. This is another half. That's another half. That's another half. And that's another half. So altogether, I have five halves that I have shaded in. So that is five halves. Let's do one more. What is four fifths of 10? And once again, I encourage you to pause the video and try to think about it. Well, we see here on the number line, they've taken from 0 to 10, and they have split it into five equal sections. So each of this, so this right over here, this is 1 fifth of 10. If you go from 0 to 10, and you divide into five equal sections, this is 1 fifth of 10. Let me write that down. This is 1 fifth of 10 right over here. Now what number is that? Well, we see that that number is 2. 2 is 1 fifth of 10. 1 fifth of 10 is equal to 2. Well, they're not just asking us 1 fifth of 10. They're asking us 4 fifths of 10. So this is 1 fifth of 10, 2 fifths. If we go, actually, let me go this way. So let me do one, another color. So this is 1 fifth of 10. Now we're going to go 2 fifths of 10. 3 fifths of 10, and we go all the way to 4 fifths of 10, which get us to this number right over there. Now what number is that? Well, we see this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's the number 8. So what is 4 fifths of 10? It is the number 8.